Hello everyone, so today I will talk about my wear and tear on my uh, Louis Vuitton Victorian wallet, Vic Victorian? Vic Victorian? I don't even know. Victorian wallet and this is the one with the world tour stickers. I saw a comment um, asking how is the wear and tear on this wallet and here it is. So as you can see, even though I don't use this wallet on a daily basis, you can see that all the stickers are still very vibrant and very intact and it just looks very good. And I'll show you the inside. Uh, and the button is so, I mean, gold <laughs> with like minor scratches on it. So inside the wallet, it looks like this. And <laughs> this is from like just me being clumsy, but I got some coffee stain on it. And here is my wallet. And I think this is also another coffee stain. <laughs> and here it says like Louis Vuitton, Paris, made in France. And uh, inside the bill section looks like this. It's not like too too dirty or anything, and the and the heat stamp is like right here. And then inside the coin section, I don't think I have any coins right now. And uh, it looks like this. It's a little dirty from the coins, but uh, expected because it's like pink interior and the coins are like dirty, so it's like expected that it's a little dirty. I would say overall this wallet held up really, really, really well compared to my Chanel uh, Classic Flap wallet. That one I also did a review on and I stopped using that wallet because it's just like very, I mean, it's just very fragile I would say. It's not entirely, I mean, it, it is partially my fault because I kind of just use a wallet pretty roughly. I don't like baby it. I don't put my wallet into like another pouch like some other bloggers. I don't do that. I just like throw my wallet around in my bag, in my backpack, in this bag, that bag, and I put it on the table when I, you know, eat fast food and stuff. Like, I don't baby my wallet, so that's why I feel like the Chanel one, as pretty as it is, it's just not for my lifestyle, even though I love, love, love the look of it, and every time I look at it, I'm like, gorgeous, and I don't see it everywhere, that Chanel wallet, that's why I got it, but, um... Even though it is so pretty, it's not really for my lifestyle, so I feel like this is like way, way, way me. Oh yeah, this is like curled up a bit, but honestly, I don't care. This is not super elegant looking, but I love like the travel element of this and how like it's world tour. And I have a world tour at Neverfull, as you can probably see from my other videos, and I love that to death too. Let me just bring it over. So honestly, with the world tour and the wallet, I just feel like it's a dream come true, just using the two together, and I just feel like they match each other so so well and I just love it so much but like you know how the interior for this is red I really wish I got the red interior for this I mean the pink interior is also good but yeah when I got this in quality I was like deeply in love so that's why I was like oh, I want pink I want all pink everything but now I really want the red Red is more classic, honestly. If you were to get this wallet, I don't know if they make them anymore, but if you were to get this, like, customize your own world tour wallet, I would say go for the red just because the world tour, like, the classic world tour never fold the interior is red, and I just feel like red looks really, really good with the monogram canvas. So, yeah, I hope this review and wear and tear would help you. I got this wallet around summer of 2016. I would say around August 2016, and right now it's March 2017, so this is how it held up. I would say this held up perfectly. Um, I really don't see anything bad about this. The glazing is still like perfect, perfect. I just really, really love how Louis Vuitton has like really durable quality stuff. Uh, high quality and very durable and carefree, and that's why I like this brand so much. I know some people are like, oh, Louis Vuitton is like so overexposed. I cannot disagree with that, but the benefits, like the pros of Louis Vuitton products outweigh the cons. That's why I keep, you know, repurchasing their products. It's just that. So what? They're overexposed. If they last a long time and they look good and they have like cute styles like this, I would go for them over and over again. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section. I'll try my best to respond to them. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would really help this video out. And see you guys next time. Oh, and subscribe if you want to see more. See you guys next time. Bye.